In the previous video, we saw that the linear processing of a signal can be expressed as the application of a endomorphism on a vector space. We also highlighted that the space of all endomorphisms of a vector space is an algebra, one, however, that does not allow for the exploitation of signal structure. We know that the introduction of convolutional filters is necessary to leverage structure. In this video, we explain the use of algebras and homomorphisms to restrict the set of allowable linear transformations that can be applied to a signal. The signals we want to process are elements of a vector space M, objects like vectors, sequences, or functions. The linear processing of signals in M is undertaken by elements of N of M, the algebra of endomorphisms of M. This is too general as a means of signal processing. We therefore want to restrict the set of allowable operations. We will do that by restricting the endomorphisms E to the, those that represent another more restrictive algebra. That is, we introduce an algebra that defines the structure of the filters we want to apply to our signals X. Filters are elements A of this algebra, which we map into the algebra of endomorphisms with the application of a homomorphism row. For this block diagram to make sense, we need to introduce and explain the notion of homomorphism and representation of an algebra. We begin with the definition of homomorphisms between algebras. Consider then algebras A and A prime. A homomorphism from A to A prime is a map row from A to A prime that preserves the operations of A, namely for all the elements A and B in the algebra A. The homomorphism preserves the sum in the sense that applying row to the sum of A and B is the same as summing rho of A and rho of B. Notice how the sums here are different. The sum of the algebra A is used on the left hand side. The sum of the algebra A prime is used in the right hand side. The analogous is true of the product, namely multiplying A and B in the algebra A and applying rho is the same as applying rho to A and B separately and multiplying them in the algebra A prime. The scalar product is also preserved by the homomorphism. The conditions in the definition of a homomorphism are such that carrying operations in the algebra A is the same as carrying operations in the algebra A prime. This is useful if, for example, the operations in A prime are easier in some way. It is also useful if you are given an algebra A and you want to process signals in a vector space M. Do notice that converse need not be true. Operations in A and A prime are not equivalent. We can move from A to A prime, but it is not necessarily true that operations in A prime can be mapped to operations in A. This could happen because A prime has more elements than A. From the definition of homomorphism flows the concept of a representation. Given an associative algebra A and a vector space M, we consider a homomorphism rho from A to N of M, that is, an operation preserving map from an algebra A to the space of endomorphisms of M. The pair M rho made up of the vector space M and the homomorphism rho is said to be a representation of the associative algebra A. The representation ties the abstract algebra A to concrete operations on signals that live in the vector space M. For this reason, we henceforth say that elements of A are filters the action of the filter A on the signal X 
produces the filter signals rho of a times x. That is, the action of the filter a on a signal x is the application of the endomorphism rho of a. All of this looks very complicated because it is very abstract, but it is actually quite simple. To illustrate concepts, we consider the algebra of polynomials and explain how graph signal processing is recovered as a particular case of algebraic signal processing. A polynomial over a field F is an expression having the familiar look of a polynomial. We have a sum of powers of t modulated by coefficients a sub k. But the interpretation of this familiar expression is a little different. The coefficients here are elements of a field. This is as usual, but the sum and the powers of t are just symbols. They do not represent an actual sum or an actual power of a variable. They are just scribbles in a piece of paper. The algebra of polynomials over f is the set of all polynomials taking coefficients in f along with the following operations. The scalar multiplications of a by alpha is defined as the multiplication of the polynomial coefficients a sub k. This multiplication is not just a symbol. It amounts to the product of the two elements of the field. This is a product of real numbers if we are considering the algebra of polynomials over the reals. The vector sum of two polynomials is defined as the polynomial whose coefficients are the sum of the given polynomial coefficients. Again, the sum highlighted in blue here is an actual sum, the sum of the elements of the field, the sum of two real numbers, for instance. Finally, the algebra product is defined as a polynomial in which the coefficient multiplying t, k, is the sum of the product of coefficient a sub j and b sub k minus j. In each of these products of the sum of the a sub index and the b sub index is k. Again, the operations highlighted in blue are operations in the field. The interpretation of this algebra is that we have abstract symbols we call polynomials. These abstract symbols can be manipulated with these three operations, and these three operations satisfy the conditions stated in the definition of an algebra. Our interest in the algebra of polynomials is that we can use it to generate several known instances of signal processing. We can, in particular, use it to generate graph signal processing. To see how this is done, Consider signals x that live in the vector space Rn. The space of endomorphisms to process these signals is made up of all the square matrices E with n rows and n columns. The challenge is that processing x with an arbitrary E in this space of endomorphisms is too general. We need some extra structure that we can exploit. One possibility is to assume that the signal x is supported on a graph with shift operator s. To leverage this information, we define the homomorphism rho that maps the polynomial a to the polynomial rho of a in which the symbol t to the power of k is replaced by the matrix s to the power of k. These two polynomials look similar, but they are objects of a different nature. The polynomial on the left is just a symbolic expression. The polynomial on the right is a matrix in n of m. We use the operations of the algebra of endomorphisms to sum powers of s modulated by coefficients h sub k. Being a concrete matrix, we can apply it to a given signal x. We have instantiated the abstract filter a into a concrete representation that we can apply to our signals of interest. The polynomial rho of A is the definition of a graph filter. We can therefore say that the combination of the algebra of polynomials with the homomorphism rho we define here yields graph signal processing on the graph shift operator S. The value of the abstract algebraic formulations 
is that several other versions of signal processing can be recovered from different choices of algebras and homomorphisms. We can now reintroduce our block diagram defining algebraic signal processing models. An ASP model is a triplet A, M, rho. In the ASP model, A is an algebra with unity where filters H are defined. The algebra defines the rules of convolutional signal processing. It is defined in the abstract at the symbolic levels of squiggles in a piece of paper. The second component of the ASP model is a vector space M. This is the vector space containing the signals that we want to process. This is, typically, a vector space where we can write objects made up of numbers that we can add and we can multiply according to some rules. And the third component, rho, is a homomorphism from the abstract algebra A to the algebra of endomorphisms of M. It instantiates the abstract filter H in the space N of M. It makes the filter into a linear transformation that we can apply to the signals X that are given to us. Any filter H in the algebra A is a filter that can operate on the signal X as dictated by the homomorphism. The result of applying H to a signal X is the linear transformation rho of A applied to the signal X. We have seen that graph signal processing is a particular case of algebraic signal processing. We will see that several other whatever signal processing are possible. The value of algebraic signal processing is that it provides a common framework for joint investigation of their shared fundamental properties.